Everyone takes the limits of their own vision for the limits of the world. Arthur Schopenhauer. There is all around you right now the reflections of your world belief. They're so ever present that you don't even see them. All the assumptions that you've made about the world, the things that are possible, what you're capable of, who you are, the very definition of what it means to be alive, all of it is completely invisible. And you're mistaking what you have for what could be. And once you break free of that, once you understand that right now you're a moment in time and that you have latent potential and that latent potential can be expressed in the form of skills, that you can get good at things, that you can develop yourself in any direction, that brain plasticity alone is one of the greatest weapons that you're not using, but you have to move beyond what you can perceive today. You have to begin to look beyond that and see that which doesn't yet exist. And you have to remember that many of the things that are holding you down are rules that you don't even realize are rules. And as General Douglas MacArthur said, you're remembered for the rules you break. And right now, you're following rules that you don't even realize exist. And some of those rules are simply what is okay to dream. But I'm here to tell you the power is in recognizing that you can do it. The power is in having the arrogance of belief. The power is in understanding that you, yes, you are going to be capable of something simply because you are willing to believe in yourself. And that's the thing, it's a willingness to believe in yourself. No one's gonna give it to you. Even the people that love you, they're not gonna give you that. They are incapable of giving it to you. People cannot see past their limitations and they take them for truth. People actually believe the things that have stopped them will forever not only stop them, but they will stop other people. How can they hope to give you anything but limitation? So if you know that, if you know that even the people that love you, what they're handing you is limitation with the best of fucking intentions, with all the love in the world, how are you gonna break out of that? How are you gonna break past those rules? How are you gonna fight the anxiety that inevitably comes your way when you think about going against the grain? But my friends, until you can do that, you can never get beyond the bullshit that limits you. If people said gravity is what it is, we never would have reached escape velocity, and yet, as a species, we have been able to hurl a fucking rocket into space, get it outside of gravity, take us to other planets. That is real only because somebody said, I refuse to be held down by the most obvious rule that we have, the one that everybody says is beyond reproach, and that is gravity. But even gravity will break under the weight of a superior will. So recognize, as Epictetus said, if you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Can you be content to be thought foolish and stupid? Or do you allow yourself to be caged, to be hemmed in by what other people think? And look, I get it. I understand the sting of contempt. I understand how much it sucks when someone you respect doesn't respect you. But you cannot be anything more than their captive if you think about what they think about you. If you let yourself be defined by what other people perceive of as you, then you will forever be limited by what they give you permission to do. And I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I said, when I'm an adult, I will never fucking be told what to do again. I will never be held back by somebody else. I will define myself. I will figure out what I need to do and I will do it. And at the end of the day, that is it. My goals drive my behavior. I am not held back by what other people think about me, no matter how fucking intoxicating it is to be loved. You have to decide what you want more. Do you want to be you or do you want to be someone else's reflection of you?